Wallace Stevens, I mentioned, he's he's along with those you know uh, those other two. I don't uh, I don't link him as closely as a language poet with uh, with uh, 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 Plath and uh, 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 Crane because while he certainly did play with language, he didn't play with language in with with necessarily word choices as much uh, in terms of putting unusual words in, although he sometimes did. It was the way he used them and the way he, he used repetons, the repetition of a line or an image, you know, uh, uh, Yellow Afternoon, uh, a poem that both of us have, have read on videos, um, you know, it, it, come, it, it comes back to a, a few key images and a few key uh, word choices. Um, you know, it was in the bottom of things that he found himself, and in himself he found that. I'm, I'm, that's not what I, I don't know the poem, but he keeps coming back, and it, it's like it's like a baker that keeps folding the pizza dough, uh, and and you you need to do that. And he did that better than any other published poet. So he's certainly uh, up there. Stevens uh, again, Stevens, Crane, and Plath far beyond the people that they're usually associated with.